Hello, I'm going to show y'all how to use the Quick Graph 5.0 from the physicsaviary.com. Specifically, I want to show you how to add multiple sets of data to your graph. So we can change the x and y axis variables. So let's say if we wanted a graph that showed distance versus time. We'll put time on the bottom in, let's say, hours. So this could be seconds, minutes, whatever unit of time. So we'll go hours, and then for the y axis, let's say this is distance in miles. So miles per hour. Okay. And we'll, we can change the name of our data, data set, and let's call this driver1. Driver1. Okay. So, at time 1, our driver let's say this was 15 miles. At time 2, he's at 25 miles. At hour 3, 27 miles. At hour 4, 40 miles. Okay. And we can add a line to this. You see the data points are popping up as you type them in. Let's, you can add one with a decimal. Let's say at hour 4.5, four and a half, we were at 45 miles. Well, let's say 45.5. Okay. So you see the, the tick marks change as you change the numbers in the data set. And we can add a line to this. So we just fit a line to our data. Now we can add another data set by clicking on this button, Change Data Set. So we'll click that and so see how it, it blanked out all of our data and it changed this to blue. So now we're going to enter driver 2. This is driver 2's data. So at time 1.5, we, we had gone, let's say, 10 miles. At 2, we'd gone 15. At 3.5, 20. At 5, we'd gone... 60. So let's fit a curve to this line. Okay, so you can see the slope of driver 2 is higher, right? That means driver 2's average speed is actually faster. Now let's add one more data set. Call this driver 3. At 0.5, let's see, we're at 1. At 1, you're at 2. At 2, you were at 5. And at Hour three, you were at eight miles. Boom. 
put another linear curve in there or a line you can see this one's slope is lower so it's his average speed is less than the other two so this was just a quick introduction to the quick graph 5.0 um, I hope that you can see this will be an important tool for us to use throughout the year Thank you for watching.